Hey guys, uh, so I have about five minutes. Um, it's a little bit along what Colin and Jeremy from Box been talking about uh, and some demonstration. It basically configuration management for networking devices and in this case running uh, using Chef. Um, a little bit uh, practical in this uh, talk. Um, so traditional networking, um, expensive hardware, vendor lock-in, change is manual, configuration drip over time, and our infrastructure team already used Chef for configuration management. So um, we said, you know, why not put everything in code and uh, let's do that for networking device as well. So we're looking at different vendors that have Chef support. Cumulus stand out in our in this case because they run uh, Linux on the uh, switches. So uh, what we did and was that we basically go through and uh, build some cookbook on Chef, and we have it running on on the switch. And we just recently open source all those cookbook as well. So, uh, you're gonna see the link next. Um, so you know, most of you here already know this. Uh, what the CLI look like on a typical uh, switch or router? Um, essentially, a lot of CLI and lots of copy and paste. Um, so this is the workflow that we adapt from our. SRE team. Essentially, we develop on local machine, uh, do the work off of test kitchen, and uh, using test kitchen, we spin up a bakery machine, which spin, load up all the cookbook that we written, uh, put an overlay layer on that Linux system to make it look like a cumulus uh, switch, and then we start building port configuration on it. We uh, build BGP, build SPF, uh, do all the link level interface setup on the system, iterate through it, push into Git, get delivered to uh, grocery delivery, and then from there, a chip server in each region, in this case, one of our data center, um, get the configuration, then the switch itself, which run chip client, uh, pulled the data off and then configure itself. Um, the important thing before going to this is uh, into code as infrastructure is that you know design is very important. You you want something simple but in a repeatable pattern. So in our case, we pick a leap and spine topology, very very simple. Um, there's no layer two in the entire network and. Um, if you want to build something more complex, do you know run an overlay system on top of it, like Open Daylight or OpenStack or various uh, overlay system out there, and essentially separating network function from physical networking, which is in this case. Um, so if you never used Chef before, this is what Chef looked like. Um, this. This is using some of the cookbook that we recently open source. It's basically a uh, program the port pipeline, essentially on the switch that we use, uh, the 40 gig port can be turned into 40 gig or 10 gig. Uh, so we said port 21 to 24, make it 10 gig, and then apply the overlay here. So you can do this right now on your laptop and you see like a very close Cumulus overlay. Um, then here is we, how where we declare BGP using um, just attributes. So basically, you um, specify. You know, in this case, we use private AS in a, one of a, a cluster. We use uh, those are IP address for the EGPP uh, neighbor. And we implement a resource which built all of that out onto, onto a system. Um, so it's very simple. So in the end of the day, you manage data and attribute instead of actual configuration. And, and this is what the template looked like. Uh, you probably recognize it. Uh, router, BGP, local SN number, 
that's what being pushed now into the switch. Um, I have a, so you can go here to get the cookbook to play with it on Chef right now. I don't have enough time for a long demo, but I ran a quick bill on my laptop before the talk uh, so that you can kind of see what happened here. Uh, okay. Essentially, you see a finished chef run. Uh, it takes 27 seconds in this case. And right now, I lock onto the system. You see the port start build. And that's sort of the routing table. In this case, it isn't actually running any uh, active protocol. Um, and that's the wrap up. <laughs>